Hey guys, Asip here and welcome to Python tutorial number 2. In this tutorial we're going to start on the very basics of Python. Now before we do that, I need to tell you one thing about Python. Um, Python is what's known as an interpreted language, which means you never actually have to compile Python at all, okay? Um, although, the downside of this is that every time you run a Python program, it has to think everything through all over again. So even if you've run it 100 times already, and then you're just running it the 101st time, it will uh, it will run it as if it's never seen it before because it has to reinterpret everything. Um, as a uh, th that's as opposed to a compiled language like something I don't know C++, let's say, or Java, where you have to write the program, then compile it, and then you can run it, and it already knows what to do. Uh, if you press this button, as opposed to Python, when you press that button, it goes to the function for that button, it reads the function through once. In C++ or Java, it knows what to do, so it just does it, okay? Uh, now, what that means, as well, is that in Python, you never have to compile, so all you actually need to do is say, write the code, save as a .py file, and then you can run it, so long as the computer you run it on has Python it will run instantly without any compiling, okay? Uh, for this reason, Python um, has something called an interactive interpreter, which is basically a sort of Python command line, okay? Or shell, Python shell as it's uh, called, um, which allows us to spit it one, one um, command, like let's say we spit it a print command or an echo command, you know, whatever programming language you're thinking in, and it will immediately echo or print back uh, what we gave it, okay? So that's what we're going to be working with um, for the first few tutorials, and then uh, we'll start looking at doing it in fi separate files as opposed to the uh, idle, which is what we're going to be using. That It's called the IDLE, idle, and it stands for Interactive Development Environment, okay? All you need to do to find it, uh, on Vista you can start key or press the start um, button and then search IDLE and it should be the first one there, IDLE or IDLE Python GUI, okay? Um, otherwise you can just go to all programs, uh, Python, there it is, Python 2.6 for me, should be for you as well, you should have 2.6, not 3 or anything. Uh, and don't go below 2.4 because that has a lot of major code differences. Anyway, Python 2.6 and then idle. So go ahead and open that up. Now like every programming language, the first thing we're going to learn is how to um, echo out hello world. Okay, Really simple in Python. All you need to do is type print and then open any type of quote. It can be single or double. Then type hello world or whatever, whatever you want to put and then close the quote. Okay, and then you can see when we press enter to run that, it gives us back hello world. Now, in Python, we can open and close with any quote we want. We can open with single quotes and we can open with double quotes. The only rule is that you must close with the same quote that you open with, okay? So if I type print hello world and then try and close this with a double quote when I opened with a single quote, I'll get a um, a syntax error, as you can see, okay, because it hasn't found the end of line. You can see that E O L end of line. Uh, so, uh, what you need to have is always close with the same quote type of quote that you open with, okay. Another cool thing about Python is it has the multi-line quote, okay. Now, to signify the multi-line quote, you just have to have three of the same type of quote. So you can have three single quotes, or you can have three double quotes. You can't mix it up in any way, so you can't have single, double, single. You can't have double, single, double. You can't have si double, double, single, okay? Always has to be the same type of quote for all three. And again, you have to close in the same type of quote. Uh, so let's, uh, you press enter to separate each line, by the way. Hello world again full stop. And then I'll close again with three single quotes, because I opened with three single quotes. And if I run that, you can see, whoops, I pressed enter twice by accident. You can see it uh, separates out the lines as well. And that's one thing that we can't do with just um, one type of quote. So we can't go print 
hello and then we can't press enter to go to the next line because it will think we're trying to run the statement with triple quotes it will wait until you've entered the triple quote before it fit it um, tries to execute the command okay so that's triple quotes for you now you can't only um, output strings or print strings okay you can print numbers now how do we signify a number so far we've only seen strings which are things between quotes well there's the there's the uh, key phrase there between quotes if we just enter a number outside of quotes, so print five, we are there. Enter, we are pr uh, outputting a number. Okay. If I do print five between quotes, it may look like these two are the same, but they're not. Okay. They're not. And um, the reason for that is because a string can contain five, but it can also contain hello world. Okay. And um, the reason you might say, well, why doesn't it, you know, why doesn't it check whether this inside the string there is a number, and if there is a number, interpret it as a number? Well, that would defeat the whole purpose of strings, because there are cases where you may want to have um, uh, numbers in strings as opposed to literal number values, okay? Um, just to further back up my point, if you try and do, we're going to look at some concatenation actually before we talk about that just while I think about it. Um, so concatenation is joining strings together basically. All you need to do to concatenate is type one string, then a plus, and then you can type your next string. Okay, so here my first string is hello and then a space, and then a plus, and then world. And you can see that concatenates into hello world. Now another type of concatenation is using commas. Okay. Now you notice I didn't put a space after hello. Uh, the reason for that is, even and we see there is a space here, um, despite the fact we didn't put a space there. The reason is the comma adds a space because um, in the way we're using it, the comma is we're using the comma as a concatenation technique. But really, effectively, the comma is just a way to output several things, several values in one print statement. So rather than having to do print hello, print world, I can just use print hello, comma for the list. This is, I now have a list of things to output. So we may be using it as a concatenation technique, but um, really it's not actually a concatenation uh, operator. It's for outputting a list of things, okay? And you don't, you can't, it's not like you can only have one comma. You can have print hello world comma and then the exclamation mark on its own. But just so you know, there will be a space there. Uh, and it's the same with the pluses as well. You can have print and then plus and then world, okay? And so there you can see the exclamation mark is right next to it because we used a plus sign. Um, and the plus is for concatenation. Now, um, the plus also has other uses, um, such as addition, okay? So, um, remember how we talked about uh, numbers being outside of quotes? Well, if we put 5 and then plus 5, okay, and execute that, we get 10. That's because Python interprets numbers as numbers, as they are. And whenever there is a plus sign and an integer, so long as there's only one integer and one plus sign in the statement, um, Python will always try and do the mathematical um, operation.